We got a sign. New ep- episode three. Episode three. We got, got a, a new sign. sign. Look at the sign. I it's love, pretty great. I love the jagged edges. Yeah. We had some negative feedback about that, but I think it's good. Did your um this little car I like? Did your dad ever tell you <laughs> hard pivot? How long do you want to talk about the sign? No, that's good. That's good. I fuck it. I feel like that was enough sign talk. Okay, yeah. Let's yeah. get into it. Did your dad ever tell you advice that in hindsight just wasn't true, or like a story where you're just like, why did he lie about that? Like, like in, he deceived me as a child. Like I, I actually, yeah. Okay, will you go? I think I know. What you're I was about. lying in bed last night. Okay. And you know when you're just a little little hungover and you can't really find like a good position to fall asleep in? Yeah. I kind of landed on no pillow. That that was just how I ended up. And I remember my dad, I was telling him, he told me that he told me that Native Americans <laughs> he told me that Native Americans that don't that they didn't used to sleep with pillows and that's why uh their their backs were straight so that they were better at shooting bow and arrows. <laughs> and I carried that with me until last night when i realized that that is so not true uh well why is that something did you shoot bow and arrows as a kid we is were it? i think we were i think we were driving <laughs> is that applicable to your life at all to sugarloaf and it was like a long drive and i had just been bombarding him with questions and he was just like <laughs> here's a little something for you to chew on for a little bit and that one i think shut me up well this reminded me my uncle mike had the uh the infamous eighth inning rule Okay. Which we, me and my brother found out very recently was made up, uh, which is if at a baseball game, he just wanted to beat traffic. But he yeah. told us as little kids that it, at a baseball team, if the home team is up by three or more runs halfway through the eighth inning, you have to leave. <laughs> and we thought it was like a rule. Like you're not allowed to stay or you can, or the team, did the game just end? I think you just have to go. And it was like, we were little, <laughs> so it was like, oh, we got to go. Eighth inning rule. Took that into my adult life. It was pretty, pretty devastating, pretty embarrassed. I'm going to be one of those dads that, uh, like, my dad does this, where, like, if, if, if we've been at a game for long enough, yeah. he has no shame in just being like, you down to just pack it up? Like, he's not, he's not like, yeah. let's leave, but it's like, sometimes you're just, you've been at the ballpark for too long. I, I'm never, I'm too, like, I'm going to miss the, the greatest play of all time if I leave. What, if I'm at a sporting event, I can't leave. Like, uh, like the Jets. I was at the Jets game, and that last play of that game was awesome. The first, first, uh, the fourth, the, first. The, the fourth play of that game was pretty cool. It was my big life, you know, diehard Jets fan. First ever game, flew to New York to go see the Aaron Rodgers era start. Four plays in, it was devastating. <laughs> but it is what it is. So now, now I'm wearing this hat. Jump ship. Are you a Chargers fan now? This is the Rams. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, they just gave us this hat. And I thought it was kind of a cool hat. I was talking with uh, with my friend last night, and I asked her uh, if she was going to start a an NFL team. Mm. What colors would she pick? And I want to know what you guys would pick. I would go ooh ooh because I'm trying to think of something that doesn't exist. I think red and black is badass, but the Falcons kind of have that on lock. Yeah, I'm thinking uh, uh, purple and green. I was going to say black, but then I was also thinking purple. What about black with, um, what is it when the color? Chrome. Ooh, Matte. Kind of chrome, but it only it's only glowing in the dark. Oh, glow in the dark? Yeah. What's yeah. that color called when it glows <laughs> in the dark? What? Oh, glow in the dark. I swear that like you 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 knew what to say and you made it no, no, no. sound dull. Oh, no. oh, oh, she's saying like fluorescent. Fluorescent. Oh, oh okay, yes. okay. Um, yes. So, you know, Lauren, what? typically in the National Football League, they play with the lights on. So when... But almost exclusively. Almost. I think it's only... They've only There's played one the Super Bowl. At one Super Bowl. <laughs> yeah. The Ravens. Um, does your your home team advantage is just you have to play in the dark? Yeah. It's super confusing. Um... Is the ball one of those? Is the ball <laughs> yeah, one, one of the, those glow in the dark? Those are football? sick when those you're a kid. Awesome, yeah. but they hurt, they're so hard. Yeah, yeah. They I dig just it. remember my I, chest. Yeah, I forgot about that. They were harder because I guess they had to be. Well, I, they just weren't made out of foot. They were made out of plastic. They weren't made out of foot. <laughs> they weren't made. They <laughs> like weren't made out of football. football. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what I've been thinking. Are you are you still about to say something, Lauren? No, I'm not. <laughs> I, okay. I just got a crazy stomach ache right before we started, so I'm just. 
Oh, wow. For the, the, the crosses we bear. For the audio listeners, Lauren currently has four drinks on her <laughs> yeah. desk She has right a Yerba Mate, a seltzer, and a huge bottle of water. And I think and I'm a, a golf grip for some a, reason. Yeah. All right, here's what, here's what I realized when last I first, night. Wait, really quick. When oh, I first God. saw this, <laughs> when I first saw this, I thought it was a, like a Harry Potter wand. Cool. What's yeah. up? Okay, <laughs> anyway, I was going to say, <laughs> last night I was eating, me and Chester ordered Thai food. Yeah. I moved into a, my house, new house this weekend. Well done. It's lovely. It's a beautiful little bungalow right by the beach. I'm super excited. Last night we ordered Thai food. And I was thinking about it. I was like, when did all the Thai restaurants all like gather together and like, we are going to use this one really specific type of takeout packaging that no one else uses. You know, like the plastic, it's like black with a clear top and it's like a rectangle. That's pretty well, that's pretty like. I think I have that Tupperware at home. Yeah, but it's only for like Thai food. Oh, 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 I know what you're talking about. It's, I only ever get, or maybe Chinese, Chinese food too. Yeah, yeah. Chinese. When, when I was Not to a, lump those together, but I think in terms of packaging. Yeah. When I was a senior in high school, um, we, at my girlfriend's house, we'd always get Thai, this, from this one Thai place. Mm-hmm. And uh, I hadn't, prom was like the week, the next week or yeah. something. And I hadn't asked her. And my prom proposal the year before was great. Not to this person, but like it was a known thing that I that I murdered promposal the year before. Okay. And I was like talking to her mom and I was like, How do I do this? And she was like, Well, next time you get Thai for us, you should just put like you should do something like in the bag. And so I brought a Sharpie in to pick it up and normally she came in with me and I was like, Stay in the fucking car. Yeah. Wait, she told you what to do? No, no, I, or the mom was like, you should Oh, the mom said, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. okay. And uh, so I, my thought process was I was going to write prom on the top of the pad tie. And uh, we got back in the car and I, like, what I didn't take into account was the condensation. It's so, like a Sharpie on a clear, like, it's just, wet like, lid. just rubbed off. I just like fucking half-ass wrote prom on it. We got in the car and I was like, uh, everything in there? We got everything? And she like looked and was like, yep. <laughs> And then we were just like, and I drove home and we, I was like, you sure everything's in there? She's like, yeah, everything's in here. Like we only ordered two things <laughs> and we got back. There's just like a smeared prom on the clear lid. I was envisioning you doing something with like the noodles, like <laughs> <laughs> just digging my finger <laughs> through the fucking, <laughs> in the restaurant. Pulling, like four noodles out. Yeah. And- <laughs> but it was I think it's the worst proposal of all time because she was she, that a big deal at your guys' high school no but like they like if, uh, you, if you had been dating the girl like she would kind of hope that you put like a little bit of effort like I yeah. killed junior year I killed it killed what'd you do it. Uh, I went to her house <laughs> while she was still at school I had the last period free and she had this golden retriever and I painted t- it <laughs> 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 I tied a sign around its neck that said it'd be golden if you went to Aww, prom that's with cute. me. That's very and then when cute. she got home, the dog ran to her with the sign. Like out of a movie. That'd be nice. Great. I had a, I, this reminded me of the cool, I actually had the coolest Thai food story of all time. <laughs> okay. So I was in like eighth grade or seventh or eighth grade. Uh, my family had just moved to South Carolina. So I like didn't have any friends. I was like kind of lonely. And I like was really like, I had like a lot of homework or something that night. And so I was like really stressed and like sad. And my parents felt bad because they'd like made me move. And so my dad was like, hey, like, he was like, you know what, Will? Don't worry about doing that homework right now. Let's just take a break. Let's go get dinner. Like, deep breath. Like, it's not that, you know, you're, you're freaking yourself out. It'll all be okay. And normally, I, you know, I was like, like, the fact that my dad was like, you don't have to do your homework was like the coolest thing yeah. in the world. And so I was like, okay. He's like, we're going to go get Thai food. So we went to this really good Thai place. And while we're sitting there, it's like Thursday night. It's either, yeah, it must have been either Thursday night or Monday night because there was a football game on. And it was... Or a Sunday. Okay, it doesn't matter. It was a, there was a football game. It was like Dolphins Rams, and while we're sitting at the Thai restaurant, they tied. It was the first tie in the NFL in Love ten it. years, and we were at a Thai restaurant. Wow, I like that a lot. And it made my night. I was having the worst night ever. My dad and I were sitting there. We we're just by ourselves at this restaurant, dying laughing. Everyone was looking at us like we we're crazy. But that's the coolest thing to ever happen. Wait, tie. that didn't. That didn't happen for 10 years. It's a really hard to tie in the NFL. I mean, you have to go all of overtime without anyone scoring. I think it's happened maybe once or twice since then, but it hadn't happened in forever until that night. Hmm. And we were at a tie. I mean, I'll, I like it. Yeah. I anyway, it. did I tell you about. Well, okay, okay, sorry. I got excited. <laughs> 
I had an exciting. I'm excited today. Yeah, wow. Well. I'm yeah. I'm feeling good. I it's love Monday it. morning. I slept really well last night. Me too. No. Well, yeah. not to make it about me, but well, you did. Yeah. For a little there. All right, continue. Not to, we, not we to also make it about me. Uh, Ninety-nine percent on my sleep score last night. Wow. Look Wait, at us. What's the sleep score thing? Yeah. What does that mean? Uh, it tracks your like it listens to you breathe at night and like, it'll open an app when you go to bed or something? it'll uh, it'll show me when i was awake and when i was asleep the best part is it has like um it'll show you like times that you talk okay at night. so i've gotten some good ones um my my buddy we were sleeping next to each other and and uh the phone was on the table in between his two twin beds in his room yeah and uh it just got him being like no, <laughs> no, and like you can like you can like listen. You can kind of like figure out what they were dreaming about. That's kind of cool. Do you write down your dreams? No. Do you want to hear? Uh, do you want to hear a good one that I wrote down? Yeah, absolutely. I have a lot written down in my phone. This about is my dreams? this is my most recent one, and dreams. I also I'm writing them in the middle of the night when I wake up. Okay, I respect this. So it, they never make any sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dreams. I was at this girl's house and I only had a sweatshirt on and no pants and someone was at the door for her. So we were running around and then it was her brother and cousin and I and I thought I recognized. So I went in to hug and it was awkward. But then I saw my aunt and gave her a hug. The girl, she said she had a fantasy football draft. (laughs) That's that's just a little peek into my brain. A great night. It sounds like a fucking movie, is what that sounds <laughs> yeah. like. But also hugging I your... hope you got C.D. Lamb. He's been playing great. He has been playing great. <laughs> he has been... It's just there's a lot happening. You could tell I was panicked while I was writing it. Yeah, that's like, the, but... you were like flustered trying to get it all down. Well, I all right, here's what happened to me. This wasn't a dream. This is real life, and I wanted to tell you the story. It was like two weeks ago. But we haven't recorded in a while, so mm. I've been sitting on this. Okay. Oh, God, I might have already overhyped it. No. So I get on the airplane. Um, I, was on an air... I was flying home. It's my mom's 60th birthday. Yep. Going to visit her. So I'm on an airplane from LAX to Boston. I get in. I'm in the middle seat. Uh, someone else gets into the like window seat. And so then it's just like the aisle seats open. And I'm like waiting for, you know, presumably someone to come sit there, hoping that someone won't. And I'm, I'm staring straight ahead. I got my AirPods in. I'm just like zoning out. I'm like kind of dozing in and out of sleep. And while people are coming through the aisle, somebody drops a straw hat into the seat right next to me like on purpose I, I don't know it was like in my peripheral i see the straw hat go down on the seat and i'm like i guess maybe they're like saving it, saving it and then they're gonna go put their bag up or something yeah but it was like a comic it was a comically <laughs> it was a comically Large. weird straw it was like a like margaritaville branded or something and had like rainbow flourishes on the edge it wasn't like a stylish straw hat okay. it was like a gimmicky <laughs> straw hat yep and it's just sitting there, and I was like, oh, that's weird. I guess they're coming back for that. Maybe they went to the bathroom. Nothing. Time's passed. I'm like, all right, this is getting bad, because the guys, whoever's sitting here is going to come and be like, is this your straw hat? And I was like, I don't know what I'm going to do. Should I like hold it up and be like, whose straw hat is this? Turn on. Who the fuck's straw hat is this? <laughs> so I don't say anything. I'm sitting there, super sleepy, like falling asleep. Guy taps me on the shoulder. He's like, hey, hey mate. He's an Australian guy. He's like, hey, mate, you dropped your straw hat. And I was like... I've never seen accent. that thing. I was in like, my life. "That's not my straw hat," and that, it was his seat. And I was like, "He was like, he didn't believe me," <laughs> which is like kind of fair in that context. Like, why would there be a straw hat? How do you get on a plane and leave your hat in someone else's seat? It didn't really make yeah. sense. So I was like, "Oh, I don't know. Someone must have dropped it there. It's not my hat." And he was like, "Okay." So then he like waved down the flight attendant. He was like, "Hey, mate, someone dropped the straw hat." And the flight attendant was like, what? Like, what do you mean someone dropped it? And he's like, I don't know. It was in my seat. And the flight attendant was like, was it yours? And I was like, no, it wasn't my straw hat. So then the guy in the row right in front of us turns around. And he goes, is that straw hat up for grabs? <laughs> and, the, and the flight attendant goes, yeah, you want it? And the guy was like, sure. So he gives it to a random guy. But it's like, we're in a contained vessel where yeah. that hat clearly, like, in it's any other setting, hat. it's like, oh, maybe the guy left. Like, maybe yeah. it was forgotten. Like, clearly that belongs to someone on this plane. Yeah. The other guy just took it. I'm like, that was the funniest thing ever. I'm dying laughing. I pull out my notes app and I write down straw hat in my Love notes it. app, which the guy, the Australian guy watched me do. So then I was like, I think he thinks you I was like perfectly like executed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, but, no you, you, you open, you open your notes app yeah. and you just check off yeah, straw, straw hat, hat. straw like hat it was prank. Like some weird, yeah, there's hidden, got you, there's hidden cameras there. Dude, I was, was getting on. Uh, wait, wait, wait. I got one oh, last yeah, thing. Yeah. The guy who took the straw hat. We're leaving, when we're leaving, like, I slept the whole flight, we get up, I kind of forgot about it, 
the man wears it off the plane. <laughs> I mean, the ball's on that guy. What do you think? Okay, let's break it down. What do you think happened? I think somebody maybe had it like on their backpack yeah. or something, and yeah. it fell off. And then they were probably on the plane like, oh, shit, what? I must have left that straw hat in the airport. They probably yeah. wouldn't assume that someone on the plane has it. Yeah. And then there might have been a moment where they're like leaving or they're at baggage claim. The guy was wearing it off the That'd plane. That'd be hilarious. Which, and it's like, wait a minute, that's my straw my hat. fucking hat. Anyway, sorry. That was my straw hat. I, get, I love it. In hindsight, maybe that was. It was riveting. No, that's a great hat. No, that's okay. a great story. All right. Thank you. <laughs> I, was, I uh, needed validation on that. Did you say? <laughs> did you just say that? He said that's a great hat. I meant to say it was a great. <laughs> it wasn't a great hat. It was a shit hat. Um, <laughs> so, okay, so, you've traveled with me, right? <laughs> yeah. You know yeah. that I like to drink in the airport. On the airplane. Too. And in the yeah. airplane. So, I was coming home. Um, I want to say, where were we? Oh, we were coming home from Colorado. And uh, I got a little drunk. Okay. In the airport. It happens. Get on the plane. What time is it? 11 a.m. <laughs> on Sunday? On Sunday. Okay. And uh, I get on the plane, get into my aisle seat, and as I'm getting in my aisle seat, the guy in the middle seat in the row, or like across the aisle, right, okay. is wearing a shellback hat. Shellback tavern? Shellback tavern. I go, I go, love the shellback hat, man. He goes, thanks, man. Love your, uh, love your videos. I go, thanks. Dap each other up. Now I'm sitting... Right next to him, right? So far, been a very normal interaction. Yeah. If my name comes up, he can be like, yeah, that guy's completely normal, whatever. I'm like, that went well. Short and to the point, right? Okay, yes. Flight attendant comes down. I uh, I order three vodkas and an orange juice. The guy next to me is like, that's a great idea. Now me and the guy in the middle seat have this camaraderie and we're like, all right, we're fucking doing this. Like, we're going to booze on this plane. And there's something about when I get drunk on airplanes, I get very, very emotional for some reason. Because it's just like so much time to think, blasting music in your headphones or whatever. Yeah. And Share uh, pods. Share pods. <laughs> and I list this song, this like Elliot Smith song or like something came on and just struck a chord with me at the wrong, at the peak of my drunkenness. Mm. And I just start silently crying. In this scene. You were crying. Tears were coming. Tears not making any noise though. Yeah. And the guy who in the show back at who was like who the interaction went well with gets up to go to the bathroom and I looked up at him, like presumably like just a mess. Yeah. And we made eye contact and he was like <laughs> What? And just walked walked away. And now I was thinking like that guy is gonna go home. And be like, I met this guy. I met that rusty guy. He and was. He is a fucking mess. He's that not That guy's okay. life is in shambles. <laughs> I feel like vodka for me personally is such. I mean, it is such a depressant. Like I yeah. don't like. I don't know. Is that your your liquor of choice? No, but okay. on the plane, because they jip you with the mixer, so you have to pick one that you're like, I can get through three of these shots with. Fucking the the teaspoon of orange juice. You order it. three at a time. Yeah. And they'll bring you three. I think you can order as many as you want. Interesting. Yeah. I'm not a drinking on the plane guy. I'm, I like to sleep. Those kind of go, for me, those kind of go hand in hand sometimes. Yeah, I guess that's true. I've never One ordered time. a drink on a plane. Really? really? Never. What do you do? Actually, I don't think um, I have either. I like to read or listen to podcasts. Podcasts are great. If you're on an airplane listening to this, get some vodka. Get one, yeah. one time I went through TSA soaking wet. Did I ever tell you about that? <laughs> no. It's the funniest thing of all time. It was when we were at Ohio State. I'm like the first college door. And they had had like some like, there was like this fraternity event that I like went to. It was like after all the work stuff was over. I was there for like one more night. And uh, I, I, it was like something they were like splash you with paint. Like you wore white and then they like yeah. sprayed you with paint. Yeah. And then I, I think I was trying to get some of it off of me or something. And there was like a like a tub of ice. And so I got it. Anyway, I got really wet the night before. And then I had to wear, I only had that one pair of clothes. It was one of those like 24 hour trips, I think, or something. You just raw dogged it? So no I was, backpack? no, I had my backpack, but I was soaking wet when I went to the airport in the morning. All my clothes, I woke up, I was like, oh my yeah. God, all my shit's still damp, but I had nothing else to wear. 
So I go, <laughs> so I was like, all right, whatever. So I go through TSA, and apparently being wet is like the same as being covered in metal when you go through the security thing. Because I went through, you know how it shows like a picture of you with little like yeah. yellow boxes yep. where there's metal? It was it all, was my entire in body, you should have seen the, the TSA guy who goes, what the? <laughs> and, I, and then he like paused for a second and he goes, wait a minute. Are you, he's like, I, like he, he clicked wet? and he goes, are you wet? And I was like, yeah, I'm soaking wet. He's like, all right, I'm going to do a full body pat down. So I had to get a full body. Like, it was intimate, honestly. He's so. like back of his hands just like soaking. <laughs> yeah, wet. Water's like put, dripping down. He put gloves on. I was like, yeah, that's probably a good idea. Is that illegal? To be, apparently not. I mean, they let me on the plane. <clears throat> it was definitely a tough look. I was like, this would be really embarrassing if they were like, you can't get on the plane this wet. All right, ready? Yeah. Not to be the guy telling terrorists how to do their job. Okay. What if you just soaked your bomb? Before, so that it just shows up as wet instead of bomb. Well, they, they then they'd have to do the full body. Yeah. They didn't. They weren't just like, oh, you're wet, you're good. This actually leads perfectly. Can we do pitches now? Because I have a pitch yeah. that's related to TSA. Yeah. Okay. All right. Pitch test. Uh, I'm gonna go no tie today. Actually. Why do you hate tie? I hate the tie because when I saw the clips, it without the context of us putting the tie in for business pitches. It looks like we think that wearing a tie is funny and that we're doing it to be funny. Well, now I, now you know I feel I mean? like a fucking idiot you know if I, I mean? wear it. All right, fine. I mean? Tie's dead. The tie's dead. The tie's dead. Killed the tie. Lauren, maybe the tie Lauren, is dead. Maybe Lauren has to put the tie on during business pitches. Absolutely hey, Lauren, not. The tie is dead. Uh, okay, here's my idea. It's, it's uh, shit, what is it again? No, no, no. I know what it is conceptually. I just can't remember if I had a good like, name for it. All right, I don't have a good name for it, I don't think. Uh, all right, it's everyone gets one. So it's the idea is everyone gets one skip per year at the airport, like security. <laughs> it's, it's like you get one cutsies. You, you get one cutsies. No, you, it's not even cutsies. You don't have to go through the security at all. It's okay. one one time you just get like you ever like once a year. There's a time where you're just like, I do not want to deal with this shit right now. Yeah, probably more than once a year. But if mm-hmm. you had two skips a year, that would get out of hand. So everyone gets one skip. You get like a little card. Or something, and you can just go pass through. They don't check your stuff. They don't check anything. High risk, high reward. So you know what you know what my qualm is. Well, I can see the qualm, but I don't know. I like to see the good in the world. Okay, maybe we do. You still have to get checked, but you can skip the line. So it's clear. So your idea is clear. (laughs) (laughs) Your, Your idea. Your idea uh, is something that we both have. I don't have clear. I need to get clear. What are you talking about? Clear? You don't have clear? No, I go. I wait in the line every clear? time. Clear? Which has gotten really annoying. Uh, like, so, so you it's go like up. It's pre-check kind of. Uh, you go up. It scans your eyeballs. What? And it'll be like, okay, this is rusty. Scan my ticket. And then they take me to the front of the line, which people fucking hate. Oh, the looks that you get yeah. when there's a giant line and they bring you to the front and they take the rope down so you just walk through all these people and then you just walk uh you just show the tsa guy and you walk right through Hmm. okay i like i like one skip i am a little i'm cautious my my business pitch my business pitch is you've seen men in black Yes. I never have. Actually, maybe when I was a wee little kid. You know the device that they erases flash? Erases your memory, yeah. Erases your memory? Yeah. This one does that, but uh, just for movies. Okay. So you can watch a movie again for the first time. I like that. I like that a lot. That's, yeah. Yeah. But I would do that for Rango. The catch is, so we had to license it from Men in Black. <laughs> Okay. So it only works on Men in Black. <laughs> <laughs> no, you you have to watch Men in Black once a year. But other than that, it's a great product. Okay. Yeah. I liked that idea. I feel like there's so many shows that I watch where I'm like, I would kill to just unsee it. Yeah. What's the first thing you would use my product on? Ooh. 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 Uh you go first. Um, I'd probably go I'd probably uh like find a porn video that I watch a bunch and it's kind of like I've just become numb to it and I'd probably do it for that or um or Malcolm in the middle I'd do it for all of Malcolm in the middle okay one of the the two I would go Andor what the Star Wars show 
Never seen that. What is it? The best show ever. Andor. It's like a it's like a prequel to Rogue One. It's awesome. Of course. Lauren, it's, what would you use it on? Um, don't make me feel like an idiot for that. It's I've, a great show. I don't, I've never heard of that. You should watch it. Uh, Breaking Bad, maybe. Yeah, that was what Ben Barrett said. I still haven't seen it. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. You would. It would knock your little dick. I've off. seen like here, like my parents used to watch it, so I would like tune in every once in a while. Yeah, it's not a. It's not a ch- good show to just tune in. Yeah. No. Yeah. Also, right. show I just finished, Daisy Jones and the Six. I wish I could unsee that and see it again. What is that? Um, it's loosely based on Fleetwood Mac. Ooh great music it's, i like fluid it's man. really no you should watch it it's really cool too because like all the actors they actually formed a band and they they all were actually playing their instrument and <laughs> it's yeah it's very inspiring what's it on amazon okay well, all right what's your third or second business pitch oh yeah i got two more uh <laughs> that is the nature of the game <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah this one's gold all right here's the best pitch you're gonna hear in a while comb hat okay it's a hat yep but it's got a little comb built in on the inside. And so it's constantly combing and correcting your hair. So when you take your hat off, like, I probably look like a freaking idiot right now. You look like a doofus. I look like a doofus because I've been wearing a hat all day. I was going to say your hair looks good. <laughs> Thanks, Lauren. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe we don't need it then. Fuck this bitch. No. Uh, Wait, so it's moving around. It's moving around in there, which is initially a little unsettling, but you get used to it, and it's combing and quaffing your hair perfectly, so when you take your hat off, it looks great. I feel like it would feel like that um, that thing that you, the like plunger thing that you put on your head and it tickles your head. <laughs> plunger. I know exactly <laughs> yeah. what you're talking about, and those are amazing. Yeah. Oh, oh, like oh it's not a plunger. Yeah, it's got plunger, like metal. Plunger is a crazy word to use. You yeah, ever, uh, that feels good. You ever done things to yourself while using one of those? <laughs> What? Nothing. Um, what was your uh, comb hat? Comb hat. Okay, I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, is it battery powered or gas? Solar. <laughs> Solar is actually probably the correct yeah route. To you take. just can't. You got to go outside and everyone's <laughs> gas as an option. It's like, it's a giant. <laughs> it like turns on in like meetings. All right. You're going to love this one. Okay. I think this one, this is one of the ones that rarely we have one that I'm worried about someone taking and like actually using. Mm. It's, uh, it's an app on your phone. Okay. I love it already. Yep. <laughs> right? In. It's an app on your phone that uh, it works in, in, uh, it works in unison is that whatever it works together with uh a in unison work a phone charger right so okay. it, imagine a phone charger but both ends are iphone chargers okay follow i plug one end into my phone and the other end into yours and you can send me like 20 percent battery so if you have like 60 yeah you can be like yo here you go 20 percent will get you get you through until you can get a charger yeah it just takes 20 percent off your phone dude i'm pretty sure samsung has this you can I... touch the backs of the phones together and charge them. Yeah, I think this is real. But but for Apple, yeah. I also think me and Bobby talked about this once on Could Be the Move. Ah, ah. Can you not talk about other podcasts? Yeah. On our so podcast? typically, just on this that's podcast, how their we're podcast just going to talk off about our ours podcast. Tanks. Our, see, ours is going to go into the fucking on our ground because you keep talking we are about other done. podcasts. We're on the street. We're homeless because you fucking brought up their podcast on our podcast. Oh my god, dude! This homeless guy today. Okay. Well, was he wilding out? Just tell me right he now. He was wilding. <laughs> also, I've had two... Typically, I've had pretty cordial interactions with homeless people. Mm. The last two ones that I've run into have just been a fucking nuisance. Okay. Um, it, well, I Un- was, unhoused. I was, yeah, unhoused. Experiencing people. homelessness. I was a houselessness. houselessness. I was um, I was crossing the street okay. today. Hell yeah. No so- no crosswalk. It's like a back road. Okay. It's the road that, that connects to Abikini, right? There's no crosswalk. What, like the, the like access road thing? Kind of. Okay. Um, and I cross the street. There's no one coming. Okay. Homeless guy goes, don't be pretentious, man. And I was like, <laughs> I was like. What? That's a great chirp, actually. I was like, what? And he goes, he goes, use the crosswalk. Don't jaywalk. Don't be pretentious, man. <laughs> And I just kept walking because I was just like, I'm not, I'm not going to be able to re- reason with this guy. As an undercover cop, probably. Yeah. <laughs> he, uh, and he was furious that I jaywalked. But there was no, there was no crosswalk. Okay. Um, what's, your, uh, what's your third? 
Oh, did you do your second? Yeah. All right, my third one is sand cream. Sand cream is good. All right. I hate, 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 hate when you leave the beach and there's sand in all sorts of weird places. Yep. And every like, little crevice of your body. Every little crevice of your body. You're in the car. It's hot. You got sand all over your crevices. It's not fun. You get home, you run your hair through your hand, it's sand coming out. You don't kind of like it in I, a weird way? I like it. You don't kind of like it in a weird way? No. I hate it. All right, we'll get to the bottom of that in a second. But continue. Sand cream sunscreen, but it's sand resistant. Oh! So you put it on like sunscreen, and then it, sand, sand does not stick to you. That makes way more sense than what I... I thought, that, I thought it was going to be a cream you rub all over your body... That, like, binds to the sand, and then you wash it up. But yours makes way more sense. Yeah, no, it's you put it on before you go to the beach. You don't kind of like when it's in your when it's on your scalp and you're in the shower and you're you're washing it out and you can kind of feel it clean in your whole body. If I'm getting it out in that moment, it feels good. But if I'm, like, got off the beach and went straight to the little hot dog store or something, like a... Hot dog store. Like a... <laughs> That's where you're going after the beach? Yeah, like, you go to, like... hot dog store. Did I say it weird? No, I just no. did. I was making fun of... I like was, a little tiki bar or something. Have you seen, <laughs> you've seen the tiki bar meme account, right? No. Max found this awesome... It's just like a... It's a page of me. It's a meme page, but all the memes are just about tiki, the tiki bar. It has like a thousand followers. It's so funny. I like hyper-specific memes. Yeah. Do you want to hear... Do you want to hear the best tweet that I've seen? Uh, do I ever? We should. Oh, we're gonna make a Twitter for this podcast, right? I think we should. We yeah, could we like can. tweet. Wait. We could tweet funny things from. Um, it. I love Twitter, but yeah. I just haven't really been on it recently. since it turned into yeah. X. I kind of. I don't know why it it's the it, same. No, but it, it lost its appeal. I'm just like I don't want to click on that. Yeah. <laughs> Boring like, conversation. You goof. Oh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Oh, well, that was. Let's never do that again. So <laughs> what? nothing. I'm just messing. I'm just being a little goofball today. Um, this is my favorite tweet I've ever read. Okay, this guy tweets hanging up the phone. Sorry, that was my sensei. He said he's turned evil, and I'm probably the only student with the potential to stop him. So I have to go home now. <laughs> I like I just that. Liked it. Yeah. All right. Um, you have your last pitch. Or uh, this one is same guy actually. So it, it says like in asterisks, running my fingers over the mark where her socks are too are too tight. Please stop for me. <laughs> oh, oh, like the yeah, yeah, seriously. Okay. Who is this? Uh, Big Money Tito. Big Money Tito. Okay, this one's really gross, and Lauren's gonna hate it. Decent. Is this just uh, is this just the part of the podcast where Rusty reads tweets? Yeah. No, no, no. no. I'm saying my, this big this business page. <laughs> okay. So, and here's another one. So, uh, let's just scroll. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually. We're gonna do a little choose your own adventure. You guys ready? Okay. Okay. You either get one uh, that is kind of boring, but it's a good idea, or one that's uh, gross. And Lauren's gonna hate it. I'll do the I'll do the gross is one. Is it gonna is it offensive? Oh yeah. If it's no no, if no, no, it's no. Like, no one's gonna be offended except for people who are just like, oh, why is he talking about that? <laughs> okay. Just say it then. Yeah, you I think you can't it. give us all it's, that. It's um it's the same material as the uh like thin paper that you put over the toilet seat to cover your uh, Why are you so obsessed? It's not about that. It's just that's I'm just painting a word picture. Oh, like like at an airport or yeah, something. Yeah, like that have, like, thin the little film. paper. Yeah. The girls have that too. Yeah. Right. It's uh, it's pants. <laughs> it's pants made of that, <laughs> and it covers the uh, <laughs> tops of your thighs, and then just like your your stomach and stuff, and then it has a hole in the middle, and it makes uh, clean up a lot easier for when you're when you're jerking. Oh, that did bum me out. Yeah, and then you, when you, when you're done, you rip it off like like NBA warm up pants. Like it has buttons down the sides. <laughs> oh you just go about God. your day. The cleanup is instantly easier. It just seems so impractical. So you're just always gonna have one on under. No, your clothes? you put them on. I think it's like a condom. What? I don't like wear it when I'm not having sex. You don't wear this when you're not jerking off. It's. I also like that, that Lauren assumed that you had to always have it on your clothes. Like sometimes <laughs> that just happens like out of the blue. Darn it! I gotta. <laughs> I'm gonna spank my monkey. <laughs> what's your yeah. favorite? What's your favorite euphemism for uh, for doing it? I don't even know if I have one. You don't say. You don't spanking your monkey is good. Choking your chicken. Dropping your kids off at the pool. That's pooping. Fuck. That's pooping. All right, should we do a draft? Yeah. That was a strange pitch. Oh, you know what? I had a yeah. pitch. I can't remember if I said this in the first episode, but like we actually need this. Um, the a washer machine that just drops right into the dryer already exists. 
Really? I think so. Or you already told me about that. I don't know. It seems like it's so. Great, why do we have to change the laundry? Great, yeah. Well, because here's the thing. Here's the thing. Each each load is a different. You got different settings. I don't. I use normal. Normal. There's a setting called normal on my washer. I and think dryer. I feel like we just you'd run into some electrical current issues, <laughs> like probably the some water easy. going straight into the. Ele- eh, whatever. There's probably some EC issues too. All right, sure. Lauren, do you want us to do? We got two drafts for you guys today. Okay, it's gonna be great, and we're gonna let Lauren pick the first one. Do you want Lauren? Do you want us to draft Disney movies that don't exist or racehorses that don't exist first? Disney movies. Okay. Do you want to start us or you want me to start? Oh, I, f- I, got, I totally zoned out for like 30 seconds. Uh, Z- Disney movies? Yeah, I'm ready. You want to start with that? Or what did you pick? She Disney picked Disney movies. movies. Okay, yeah, let's do it. Do you want me to go first? Yep. All right, first I have Horse Boy Extreme. It, part horse, part boy. <laughs> he saves the world one extreme sport at a time. Okay, love it. Just want to get that off the bat first. Love it. Now, you got like, let's let's pretend I'm... I'm the exec at Disney. Yes. I say, love this idea. What's, why do, one, why do they need saving? Two, which ones are you saving first? Well, so in every, in every movie, in every, I mean, there's Horse Boy Extreme 2, Horse yep, Boy Extreme 3. So like Horse Boy Extreme 1, it's the Olympics half pipe. And there's <laughs> someone cut a secret hole in the half pipe. Oh, And oh, Sean White oh. is going to fall through it and die. I understand. So Horse Boy Extreme is an extreme sports wizard guru. So he comes in <laughs> okay. and he saves Sean White right before okay. disaster. That and- is so much better than what I thought. <laughs> I thought you meant I thought you meant that like they needed saving because people were like no longer interested in the sport. So he came in and like revolutionized. <laughs> no, like people just saving. didn't give a fuck about motocross They'd anymore. Straight from God, they needed saving. Yeah, <laughs> or okay. streams like a preacher. That's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. No, he saves them from accidents on the course. Okay, my first one. We've all seen Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Yeah. We've all when seen it. I was it. Like four, but yeah. We've all seen it. We all love it. Mm-hmm. What's it missing? What's it missing? Bears. Lauren, what's it missing? Spiders. Is that the one with Steve Martin? I don't know. Cran- Cran- Cranberry? Cran- Wait, also, I took my headphones off, and I feel like not normal at all, but it was hurting. Shouldn't you be listening? Yeah, isn't that, the like audio? The whole... isn't that part of your job? To have headphones no, on? No, I already know the audio sounds fine, and uh, it was hurting my head. So I like if LeBron James like took his shoes off in the middle of that thing. He was like, <laughs> yeah. this feels weird. LeBron, Actually, Lauren is the weird. LeBron James of podcasting. Um, okay. Um, what is it missing? What's Honey, I Shrunk the Kids missing? A, oh. a, dark, a dark twist. A dark, a dark twist. twist. A dark <laughs> I was close. You were close. And I actually thought you were going to say it because you started with it. All right. It's missing a dark twist. There's not enough gore in it. This is Honey, I Shot the Dog. <laughs> okay. Jesus and it, they were, it was just a, a playful hunting day gone wrong. Okay. And now he has to explain to his wife why Skipper is dead. Okay. And there's no shrinking at all. Uh, so that he, we can talk about it, but like he, um, he probably, I would say they do a callback and, and he shrinks, he, he shrinks the dog to hide its carcass. Okay. So there's some shrink. Yeah. Cause I think if you don't have shrinking, then it's like, why is it even a sequel? Is it a sequel? Yeah. Is it the same? They have a, they have a bunch. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> okay. I want there to be like a whole section of Disney where they're just like, gory and like messed up and like, but they don't tell you that that's the turn it's going to take. They just like okay. make a lot of them. So you're gonna that, traumatize children. That exists in uh, what's it called? Spooktober or whatever. Uh, you remember that they would it would be no. like Spooktober or whatever it was called was like when it be, when it was close to Halloween. They just only played Disney scary movies. Dude, I didn't have TV. Did I tell the story yeah, of the podcast? You did, and it, I it, think that was the episode feel, that got cut. I though. Feel so bad. Oh yeah, tell them. This is the I didn't have cable growing up. From ages four to ten. I don't think Lauren's heard this either because Emily was the one that produced that. Yeah, that episode, it was like the first episode that didn't make it to air. I think I said this. But uh, my mom, got, she got rid of Cable when George Bush got reelected because she didn't want to see him on the TV anymore. Yep. <laughs> Which seems like you could have just not looked at it. Could have just thrown on but literally it, it, any other She was thing. so pissed about it. She took it away from all of us. And she didn't get it back until she wanted to watch figure skating at the Vancouver Olympics, <laughs> which was 2010. But like four to ten are like peak. Like I've never seen Spongebob. Wow. I mean, I've seen obviously like an episode here or there, but yeah. like don't know anything about Spongebob, Disney Channel shows, nothing. I don't know what Spooktober is. And huh. it's all, I can, I can v- exactly pinpoint 
it was George Bush's reelection to the Vancouver Olympics. Let me tell you something. Your mother and my mother would get along. <laughs> Thick as thieves. Yeah, I feel like you can tell exactly. You, what I, the, literally tells me everything I need yeah. to know about that about her, and she, and my beautiful mother would hit it off. <laughs> we uh, didn't yeah. have. I don't think we actually we've never had cable at my mom's. Oh really? Yeah. Damn. But we had like Netflix and stuff. So. Let's just say I had a lot riding on the uh, twenty on the t- two thousand eight election. Yeah, you were just. Like, I was like, Mom, we got Obama now. Give me. Can I watch the Sweet Life of Zack and Cody? Everyone is like, this is a massive moment for our country. <laughs> It's I'm up election first, night. First black president. <laughs> I rigged the like ballots yeah. so I can watch SpongeBob. So I can watch SpongeBob. <laughs> the... Yeah, anyway. it was a big moment in the Danellen house. You learned a lot about yourself that first week, probably. It was it was monumental to say the least. You discover actually, I don't want to get into it, but you'll. I was gonna. I almost spoiled one of my Disney movies, but you got it. You learned a lot, a lot of new characters. I think I just spoiled the t- 2008 election. Uh, <laughs> you don't know what happens yet. No, it was no. a barn burn. I didn't have cable. Yeah. Uh, all right. Number two, I got Armadillo Armageddon. The world is ending, and only one species can save us. And they actually don't, wouldn't they not die if there's a like nuclear bomb because their shell is so hard? Is it's that like just a cockro- thing? It's like either them or cockroaches. I, I was just going to say cockroaches. Yeah. I had a huge cockroach in my room the other day. If there was a Ugh. nuclear blast, the only thing that would be left was is cockroaches. Really? They just like, they're just like fucking immune. Oh, maybe it's Armadillo. Yeah. Well, Armadillo Armageddon is that, I guess. <laughs> we just took all the air yeah. out of your sails. <laughs> That's okay. I got a new, my next one's better. Okay. You go. Um, so, let's think about it this way. What's the next step in Zach and Cody's life? They've already done the sweet life. They've already done the sweet life on deck. Airplane? Sweet life in the Zach air? Zach and Cody, Wall Street life. <laughs> okay. They're business bankers. Okay. And they're very corrupt. And they, it's, okay. it's almost like American Psycho vibes. Cody... Zach's the fun one. He's playing pranks around the office. Cody is murdering in cold blood. I like this. And Zach they're on, and like they're on drugs. Yep. Big fit. They're, Zach is in a K hole the pretty much the entire time. I think that could be. I think that would sell. Zach and Cody Wall Street life. If and they if I see and any doesn't of one you, of them have you ever seen the podcast where yeah. the one is just like ripping a cigarette? Yep. He kind of looks like the character you're describing in that. He they 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 play each other. Yeah. Zach <laughs> plays Cody and Cody plays. Zach. <laughs> they switch. All right. You ready? Mm-hmm. I got Indiana Jones and the Skeleton Sense. Um, it's the the next. In, did you you? I'm assuming you didn't see the new Indiana Jones. No, it's I'd Harrison Ford's like 85, and it lost 500 million dollars in the box Good. office. Good. So my idea for Indiana Jones and the Skeleton Sense is they it's in 15 years, and they bring out the bones of Harrison Ford, and they it costs the budget is 10 billion dollars, <laughs> and it's terrible. Uh, and it just kind of mimics what they did with this most recent one. All right. But at this time, it's his literal bones, not just his aging body. I like it. That's so funny. I was thinking about uh, Harrison Ford the other day. I just feel bad that they like they keep trotting him no, out. It's like yeah, a, it's right. like it's like, <laughs> dude, what are you doing? Trotting him out. I guess he's someone needs to check it, in on him. I know. Like you're old. He's... Even the new Star Wars movies. I was like, dude, like you don't have to bring. Yeah. Well, he was frozen for like thousands of years. No, he was not. Han Solo. They yeah. get him out in like the next episode. I'm pretty sure he was frozen for a while. They put him in Carbonite for like like a, one episode to the next. Can I talk to you outside for a second? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, my next Disney movie. It's called That's So Rogan. <laughs> okay. Joe yeah. Rogan plays Raven Simone's character. <laughs> and Same he, family and everything? Same family. <laughs> they don't address. They don't address where she went. Um, and he just gets up up to all sorts of fun antics. Do you have you ever seen the X Squad episode? What is that? So Raven? No, I never saw it. So Raven. Have you seen the X Squad episode? I don't remember any of the episodes. That's so Corey. That was post George Bush. Corey wants to join the X Squad, which is a just a ragtag group of like gnarly skateboarders. Okay, they all wear matching blue sweatshirts that say the X Squad on it. Sounds awesome. And uh, and. Like to to get initiated, uh, Corey has to like kickflip like a six stair or something he can't do, or like bomb like a hill that like he's gonna get hurt. Okay. In in an effort to, I'm also going off my memory from 16 years ago, so like 
forgive me if the, I leave out some details. That was, bef- that was before your wizarding days. That was before my <laughs> wizarding days. And um, and in an effort to save him from having to like shred, uh, Raven shows up in like an eye patch and pretends to be like the gnarliest skateboarder in town and somehow distracts them. And then I'm pretty sure he gets to join the X squad. That's awesome. Yeah, it was pretty great. What was the, why were we, is Joe Rogan joining the X squad or? No, it's just my favorite episode. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that, that actually happened. No, I believe you. <laughs> okay. I, I just didn't know how this was tying it in. I'm just letting you know. It was just a little tidbit. Just okay. You know. I got Garfield's Revenge. Okay. <laughs> This one right. fucking sucks. This movie probably sucks. <laughs> it's Garfield is at Congress petitioning for a change in the calendar to get rid of Mondays. And he's employing a lot of dirty political tactics. Sleeping with Congress persons in the back office. Rubbing lasagna all over the toilets. It's a nightmare. And it's a national disaster. Streaming now. <laughs> I love it. no you you sold yourself short. That is awesome. <laughs> okay, thank I would you. watch that. It's a political drama though. It's not like <laughs> it's not goofy. funny. It's sad. Rubbing lasagna. <laughs> <laughs> Why does he like it so much? It's not that good it, of a dish. It kind of fucks. I like lasagna. I love lasagna. There's I like too much cheese. Chicken parm. Mm, yeah. All right. I'm so hungry. Um, I am really I'm hungry. Starving. It just occurred to me I haven't eaten lunch. It's what is it now? Two o'clock? Yeah. Either. This one's stupid. You want to get Giada after this? No, I actually brought some chicken from home. Okay, I wanted to shout them out though. Giada's we, we're doing free press for Giada. This one's stupid. And we're gonna move on after it, right? I'm okay. gonna say it. It's called Mary Poopins, <laughs> and uh, it's just Mary Poppins, but she has Crohn's. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, her insides are leaking. That is tough. Okay, you ready? Yep. I got a bo- uh, a dog <laughs> called Taint. It's the sad story of a friendly canine with an unfortunate name. He tries to shirk it and make it as a the leader of a dog nonprofit and local town hero, but he seems to be always tied back by the fact that his name is Taint. Yeah, that's good. All right, should we do the next? Uh, I got one more. Oh God. All right. Air Bud Golden Retriever. Uh, sorry. That's just the... That's just <laughs> the <laughs> already exists. Oh, boy, do I have um, some news for you. <laughs> Air Bud Golden Believer. Oh, it's like a Christian one? It's a Christian movie. <laughs> he's a Jehovah's Witness, and he's trying to spread the gospel. Uh, I like and I, he doesn't play sports in this one. He does, yeah, yeah. He's like... He gets really... It's like the thing he's really good at is praying instead yep. of dunking. All right. That was dumb. Speaking of Duncan. Have you guys? <laughs> we don't have advertisers no. yet, if that's what you're about to do. No, uh, it's just something that popped in my head. Um, I heard that Dunkin' Donuts has this... <laughs> the Ice Spice Munchkin drink? Yeah, it's like 2,000 calories. Fuck yeah. I just had It all goes straight to, straight to the badonka donk from what I hear. I d- yeah. I, this is a hot take. I don't... Actually, I don't even want to get into it. I don't what, get Ice it. Spice? I'm just going to say like I don't get it. You don't think she's hot? I don't get it. I, I don't really get it either but i kind of i kind of i like it she's a baddie yeah she is a baddie and she's showing her panty i kind of like that yeah i like people who are just like extremely confident and i mm-hmm. can't figure out why i yeah. kind of just have a, a high a lot of respect for that have you seen that like the ice spice move has like taken over youth hockey did i already tell you about this? Yeah, yeah yeah where they like bent yeah it's pretty gross what you know what the ice spice move is are you gonna make me do it on this chair <laughs> oh, like she's like bending over, like slaps. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Yeah, uh, they uh, like it's the most popular celebration in youth hockey right now. Whatever. Yeah. All right, race horses that don't exist. All right, I'll go first. Yeah, I got horse boy extreme. <laughs> yeah, it's a double whammy. It yeah, work for both. It does work for both. That sounds very funny. If it was, if there was a horse in the Kentucky Derby called Horse Boy Extreme, I would put yeah, all of okay. my money when on you it. Fra- when you put it that way. Willie also texted me this morning <laughs> and said, uh, he said, Secretariat also works for Disney movies and horse races. Yeah, I was, I was like, sneaky, yeah. A rare scenario in which Secretariat would fit both of our categories, Disney movies and horses. All right. Okay. My, first, my first horse is called... Um, laugh more. Can you, can I'm... You, can you laugh? Smile? I am, I am smiling. Are you grumpy because it's Monday? Yeah, Lauren. Aww. No, I'm actually in a good mood. Bad Lauren case of Mondays. She, Lauren said she went out on 
You know how you know how she said if she goes out on Friday, whatever, she's groping on Monday. Yeah. She came in and emphatically was like, "I went out on Friday and I feel good today, and now I'm not buying it." She actually said Saturday, Saturday. which is in fucking sane. <sighs> You're That's a mad woman. We I should know. lock you up and throw away the key. Why I oughta? All right, ready? Okay. This horse is called. If this horse loses, I'll shoot it in the head. <laughs> and every other, <laughs> every other jockey. <laughs> doesn't want blood on their hands so they just slow down and let it win <laughs> i like that okay i like that uh i got jockey vessel i feel like it's always about the horses and I, this one is like giving a oh, shout out okay so yeah. it's just called jockey Love vessel it. no one Love really gives it. a shit about the horse it's all about the guy on top yep all right strange cats they are yeah they're little yeah um wait what were we saying jockeys doing the off season something funny we thought of something else that requires like being small. Aren't jockeys like five two? Yeah, they're they can go through like the little doors in Lego Star Wars. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Like only R two and like yeah. young Luke. Okay, that's great. Um, this one's called Elmer's Revenge. <laughs> so you know how like, real if, glue guy. Yeah, if if horses suck, have you heard this one? If horses are bad, they shoot it and they make it. They send it to the glue factory. Like glue is made out of horses. So like, is that true? What? Yeah. What? Wait, what are you? Sounds saying? like that might be. I think your dad probably told you that on the same car trip. No, it's like the same reason. Like gelatin is like horse hooves because it's like what binds it together. That's like what. So then maybe they take the hooves. They don't I use the body. Don't believe that. Um, they send it to the glue factory. Whatever. This is Elmer's revenge, and he's just. He's just putting up a fight for as long as he can before he gets sent to the Elmer's Glue Factory. I guess that's if that's true, that's a that's a good name. You don't you've never heard this when they say we gotta send it to the glue factory? No. Like when a horse dies, they send it to the glue factory. I think that's an urban legend. It's not. Are you looking it up, Lauren? Okay, so it says historically glue is made from collagen taken from animal parts, particularly horse hooves and hooves? How are you, I don't know? Hooves. Hooves. Hoovens. And bones, but oh. today um, they just use artificial materials. Get okay. fucked. Okay, I got Spur of the Moment. Love it. Really excited about I this one. It. Spur That's of the Moment. Great. That's like an unironically yep. good one. That's I'd, I'd, I'd bet on that horse. Spur of the Moment. Boom. I feel like that's probably been done before. Spur of the Moment. No. It's great. It's so good. Um, Do you like it, Lauren? Yeah, I like it. Okay, remember? You're Dial in here. No, I just I don't know. <laughs> just lock in for a us. A whole lot about the sport of horse racing. Neither do we. I don't know. Um, what? Rusty went to a horse race. I did. It's true. I've never been. All right. Um, all right, I got a couple. I'm gonna go, Mr. Hands. Okay. Do you know the reference? Like from Mr. Bill? No. Hey, I'm not even gonna. T- it's or no. A, it's a video of a horse just doing like, some pretty bad stuff to a guy, and the video is called Mr. Hands. But uh, also. Horses are measured in hands, not feet. So his name's Mr. Hands. Okay. I like it. Yep. I got horse in this house. <laughs> like from like yep. WAP. We got some horse. Got some horse in, in, we in this house. We got some horse in this house. Got yep. some I mean, horse. How electric the walk up song. You know that yeah. little part of the. He's doing the trick. You know that little part. <laughs> we doing, got some horse, horse in this house. house. Got some horse, horse in this house. house. Horse. That's also like the most electric part of the Kentucky Derby is when they like show him walking out. Yeah. It okay. does that weird, like, crip walk yeah. on the way out, yeah. Mm. Mm. We got some horse in this house. Got some horse in this house. house. Got some horse, horse in this house. In this ta- horse Beat in this it ha- up. Run it, run it far. I'm a horse. F- fuck a car. <laughs> All right. Lay it on me, kid. Put that mane right in my face. Yep. Lay it on me. Beat it up like a... What? Beat it up like a horse race. What do you mean? It's your turn. Oh, no, I just said, uh, oh, no, that I, was, uh, okay. Horse in this house. So I have one, two, that's, this is my fourth. Mm, yeah. Um, do you want good pun or, uh, do you want a pun or do you want a scary one? You got to stop doing this. Choose your own adventure. Right, shit. I'm going to go midnight rider. Okay. I like that. I think we've been dicking around a little bit and we need a serious one. Yeah. Midnight rider is a legit sick horse name. I think Paul Revere's horse was called that. Was it really? No, I just, he had a midnight ride. Midnight rider. Midnight rider. Ain't never gonna catch the midnight rider. You ain't never gonna catch the midnight rider. Write that down. Sorry, that's what I was singing. Oh. You ain't never gonna catch the midnight, midnight rider. rider. All right, lay it on me, kid. Scratch. Yep. Because, like, you Bang. know when a horse is scratched, they're like, 
And number 20 is a scratch, but this one they'd be like, number 20 is scratch. And people would be like, wait, what? So oh, no one would, would bet on it. It would affect the betting odds. Then you're you're the only one that bets on it. You're, you make a fortune because everyone you, thinks he's yeah, a scratch. Because it would say number 20, scratch, scratch. And people would be like, oh, I'm not betting on that. Down. Make a freaking fortune. No one could, they wouldn't drive the lines up. All right, my final one. Bada boom, bada bing. Watch me nay nay. But it's spelled <laughs> N-E-I-G-H, N-E-I-G-H. I like that a lot. Watch me nay nay is a good one. I Lauren, made, what do you think? Dude, since you were I on your phone. I haven't made Lauren laugh once She's today. dead energy today. You're right. just a bag of milk over there. Okay. Well, Sack of carbon. I, from now on, need to eat lunch before. <laughs> and then I'll be able to talk more. Okay. So we got to make sure to feed you before the podcast? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh God! Is that over? Yeah, I think she's Was that. Is that over? Yeah. I think she did. Good it. God! I think she did. Good God. God! Good God! I have Wait, a I have a dank problem? lunch in the freezer downstairs. Mexican what? casserole. Mm. All right, what's your fifth? That that was my fifth. You yeah. you go last. Or you already? Oh, went. okay. I think we're done. Oh, I remember what it's from. Good God, man! You almost got the cheese touch. Oh, from Diary of <laughs> Remember that. <laughs> What? I had to share. Oh. Wait, I have actual tears streaming. Oh, no. What? I don't really care. It's okay. What is next? That was a um, suck. Oh, God. God. You don't, you don't want to reminisce on a classic movie. I do. I actually, I'm going to be honest. Yeah, I love those books. Oh, I loved those books. Roderick Rules went brazen. Roderick did rule. I also, until, until I was in, until I saw the movie, I thought it was Loaded Dipper. Like, I didn't get the joke that it was Loaded Dipper. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, I just was bad at reading. Yeah, you, got, you were pretty bad. It's definitely diaper. I know. I'm just saying, like, I did it. Like, I didn't. No, I don't know why I got so mad at you about that. I know. <laughs> you fucking um, idiot. No, he, still, he didn't spell it right. I know, but it, yeah, whatever. Oh, I, you're right. I guess you're right. He put, it was like an I, but it had like the umla over it or whatever. Yeah, but I still didn't. Get I, the like, joke. I didn't get the joke. Yeah. Like, I didn't know what it meant. Unironically, kind of a sick name for a band. The loaded diaper. It's kind of like Butthole Surfers. Is that a band? Yeah. <laughs> they sing uh, something. Whose personality are you going to steal this again, man? Oh, fuck. I forgot about this part. I did, too. So we're going to think about it on the fly. Lauren, you got to get what we think. Whose personality are you going to steal? I'm stealing Daisy Jones's personality. Is that from that movie you talked about? From done? the show. From the show. Um, because she's inspiring. Mm. I'm going to steal uh, Dewey from Malcolm in the Middle's personality. I think he has a healthy indifference towards like bad shit. He's also... I think a genius, and they don't oh. really talk about it. He also he's a, just a leader. You remember that episode where he got sent to the special ed class and he, uh, like, just led them into b- being better. Wait, <laughs> I don't know. I've never seen it. Malcolm, the, what, what were you talking about? Malcolm in the Middle. Yeah. So Lauren does this fun. We were talking about this earlier. Lauren does this fun thing where. Um, I feel like I'm being mean to Lauren today. I'm sorry, but Lauren does this thing where she just blacks out for seven seconds, yeah, at a time, and will miss it's like a possum what we're talking shot. about. And then yeah, she takes a couple <laughs> possum shots, and then just asks immediately the second you're done talking about something, asks you the question that you just answered. Yeah, it's a, yeah. She asks like, "Are you talking about exactly what you were talking about?" Too. <laughs> yeah. It's like yes, yes, we were. Yeah, and I thought you, yeah, okay. I want to steal. We're going to um. I want to steal like um, like a, a, a American sniper, Chris Kyle. Some, I don't. We're going to the uh, we're going to the PLL thing. Yeah, PLL championship game what on Sunday. That? Oh, lacrosse. Yep. Yeah. And my I've apparently been tasked with. I'm the guy who has to shoot the t-shirt cannon. Oh, during oh, so you want to you want to shoot it with such accuracy. I want to I want to be able to pick out like someone in the crowd and be like, got gotcha. yeah. Maybe just like maybe maybe you should model it after like a really good mascot, not like the most deadly <laughs> person. Yeah, I want, okay. I want to be uh, the Philly fanatic. Yeah, that's a great mascot. Best mascot, go. Best mascot is uh, Wally, probably. Wally, the Red Sox mascot. Not. He's just like an off-brand Philly fanatic. 
No, he's the wall. The Philly fanatic doesn't make any sense because they don't. He's he's not like why is he green? Because he Wally. He, no, you know who I'm gonna go with. There was a local trash company that yeah. sponsored the Portland Sea Dogs, and it would come up and it was a trash can. It would eat people. That's cool. But then it's like I don't really want my kid in there. Yeah, what's why he doing are you? In there? Wait, what's the Sea Dogs name? Well, now they're the oh the. Uh, Slugger. Slugger, yeah. Slugger Slugger's the Sea Dog's right. pretty great. I remember like distinctly how he smelled. Yeah. Getting hugged by him. There's a really good one in Lancaster where I grew up, Lancaster Barnstorm, with this guy called Silo. Put the picture up. He looked cool. Well, this was just a blast. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for tuning in. We love you. And uh, we'll see you guys next Wednesday. Can't fucking wait. Cannot wait. Hey, also, I want to start a thing where we can kind of just gauge what what's going on with the people listening what's a fun thing for them to tell us in the comments they should pitch they should send us oh, dm us pitches please dm us pitches we'll give gonna, you credit and we'll we're gonna read we're, we're gonna view. read the best we're gonna read the best fan pitch yep each week yep all right love you love guys you.